Okay, guys, so here today we have Philosophy. And he's our guest for today's Banner and Lord podcast. Uh, and I've got some questions for him. And uh, what do you say? Should, should we just jump right into it, the first one? Yeah, we think that'd probably be the best idea as far yeah. as things go. Okay, so uh, how long have you been into Mountain Blade? How long have we been in a mountain blade? Oh, geez, oh, a while now. Let's uh, let's it's check really our. Fun game, so. It is a super fun game, actually. We we got really into it because we grew up doing medieval stuff and reenactments. So we've got yeah. 155 hours right now, but uh, we we really we've been playing that over more of a kind of stretched out period of time than some people. We don't uh, binge play as much because we try to maintain a balance. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, what would you say is the f- best part of it, or wh- or like your favorite part of the game? Mm, it, it's got to be just the way that the battles are. Uh, yeah. We really like the the you know quad directional way of fighting that's actually in the character combat system that they've got. It's so many video games just have you know the character kind of randomize their swings or swings don't matter at all but actually in mountain blade they really involve a very serious mechanic where people can actively block and actively you know intercept people's blows and stuff Mm -hmm. which is a thing that you can do in combat in fact our own martial arts style is very interceptive so that's something that we really appreciate uh and on top of that you can have the group mechanics you know one thing we like to do is we like to set up our infantry and then have our cavalry swing around like what actually happened in real battles so we can hit them from behind as they're engaging our infantry so strategy and actual realistic combat is what what our favorite part of it is yeah that's a great answer uh do you think we can expect like the same uh quality battle scale ish type uh, in bannerlord if the game well is being released yeah if Bannerlord ever actually <laughs> exists, and we're not saying that it's not gonna exist, but it's been ten years or whatever since Bannerlord yeah, was, yeah. you know, announced. That's a long and time, just saying. <laughs> history, we like history, and history does not point to Bannerlord coming out. But if it does come out, a lot of the stuff we've seen from it looks very crispy, and we look forward to that. We can't exactly say if they'll really update the system a lot because what they've got is a good thing but it looks like from what the at least the combat on horseback this is going to seem a lot more fluid and mass combat seems like it's gonna up update on what the system is lagging on now yeah yeah that's exciting that's great uh so if banner lord uh, gets released what do you look for- forward to the most in banner lord as much as we love the the big mass combat aspect of Mountain Blade now, we really find that a lot of the game in between uh, the combat can be a little banal, uh, a little boring. So we really hope that they actually have more like domestic and political and intrigue-based things going on that hopefully aren't as janky and one-sided as in Mountain Blade, because they don't really stress on that much enough and we'd like to see more of that they really really got the combat aspect down we don't you know update it a little bit with your engine make it smoother make it cleaner maybe add a little bit yeah. to it but it it doesn't need much altering yeah. they've got I, a really good I, thing already yeah. uh, i think if i'm not remembering the wrong uh, i think that uh, teleworlds actually had like a dev blog about their uh, diplomatic uh, re- relations or like something around that so i think that this that is definitely going to be an improvement that they're uh, looking forward to fix in bannerlord so i think that it's on its its way if the game actually exists which i actually read on a forum Uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna get um, the forum uh, print into the video because uh, that's a pretty like deep thread i i found (laughs) sure sure it's Uh, it's, it's cool yeah uh, yeah if that's the case that would be yeah, but I read on the uh, thread that um, they think that the game is already finished, but they are just yeah. like trying try to build up some hype, um, and this it's going like the wrong path for them. So they just try it, to kind of like save save as much hype as they pro- possibly can now with the dev blocks yeah. and everything like that. Yeah. It, it it would be wise to 
build up a little bit because as we said earlier it's been so long since it's been yeah. announced nobody it's a joke now it's we yeah, don't it's really think they're gonna put it out on time if at all yeah so you know let's we'll see <laughs> we we think it would be lovely to see it in 2019 like they were saying do yeah. we think it's gonna happen in 2019 probably not <laughs> <laughs> like a skeptic way of to see it we're prepared to be proven wrong. Don't get us wrong, but yeah, yeah we, of course. we don't take anything on faith. Please hit us up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, please uh, bring up the Henry Lawrence <laughs> up. We love it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, now to the to the last question uh, that I have uh, that, that I am a- asking all of the guests here. Uh, oh, cool. When do you think Bannerlord will be released? <laughs> Which is pretty funny uh, on the question because. Like, so, if I understand you, your point of view, of view, right? You're pretty like skeptic to the game. We, we're being pretty released. skeptic, but but we'll be we'll be real about it. Like, let, let's we'll be like kind of a bookie, as it were, on this one. Yeah. Okay, if if we're going to go with our really give them everything we've got, we think that they could probably get it out by November if they wanted to. You know, throw a couple of ads yeah. out, get the situation just right, and boom, like September, November area, we're, we're good. You know, it's, yeah. they, they could they could do it. They have the resources for it, and they have a fan base that's waiting for it uh, enough. If we want to be a little bit more realistic it, and a little bit more conservative, which we are, probably mid-2020. Yeah. is what there is is where we'd say like that's when banner lords is going to come out if it's going to come out at all that's they're gonna they're gonna save it up probably gonna throw out some christmas ads or something really get the <laughs> hype going for it and yeah. then then they're going to you know have the the fans raving and ranting about it for four to six months and then boom there it's gonna be against everybody's whatever yeah. uh we think that's going to be the most marketable choice for them yeah it, really have that like full year of waiting for it and but but saying it's gonna be out july 2020 boom that's our time but they've already said that so it it all depends yeah Uh, Uh, i also like don't telewords have like a lot of guys working for them like hundreds of it, uh, people. We imagine at this point. That's why we said they could definitely do it yeah. <laughs> yeah. this year if they For wanted sure. to. We imagine they. We we don't actually know their official, you know, state of things, but yeah. we imagine they could. Yeah. We've seen some of the trailers for them, and they look crispy, very crispy. Yeah, it definitely. Do. Okay, so that was the last last question, and uh, thank you so much for being on this week's episode. Uh, Definitely. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Have fun, everybody.